Hello and welcome to another episode of our FM23 beta save. We are currently managing Tottenham Hotspur. In the last episode, we created our tactic, which we believe could be the tactic to bring us success. If you missed that episode, go check it out in the above link. In today's episode, we will be going through the new feature of the squad planner. Here's a couple of bits from today's episode. This actually stops me from writing down my squads and planning because it's now in game there you go, as a striker. And there you go. So now that means that we put in a plan to focus for our scouting team. At the end of the video, if you do like this type of content and wish to support the channel, then hit that subscribe button because it's very appreciated. It keeps me being pushed to keep on creating these videos. Right, let's get to it and get FM in. Right, let's have a look at this squad planner. One of the new features. Actually, we've done our tactics. We've got our first 11, but this will just plan where we got cover. And we was talking about, I need my weak areas, but actually what this might do is I need a backup goalie or I need a backup striker. We haven't got anyone. If Kane gets injured, who's going to be backup? If we sold Kane, can we use Lies Youth to come through in the next two or three years to replace Kane? And this is what it does. I think this is a really, really cool tool. This actually stops me from writing down my squads and planning because it's now in game. What I want it to tell me is what squad are they currently in? Under 18, under 21, first team, but there's no playing time. Um, I know that we've got expectations, reports, stats, planning. Yeah, just one thing missing from there. It would have been nice to actually been able to choose things. Yeah, maybe that's for the next football manager. Oh, another thing I would like on here is age. How old are they? Planning. I mean, one of the things is that I need to sign players under 30 and I can't sign contracts for 30 year olds with two years. So I know Loris is only, I can only give him two year contracts. Fraser Foster. Oh, there is age. Just seen it. Oh, okay, it's hidden underneath. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Is there anything else hidden? Did I miss anything else? No. So if you feel like Loris isn't your first choice goalkeeper, actually you put Fraser Foster. What does that look like? And you can just start planning. We can move it with arrows, move him up. He's out on loan, but actually he's got better potential. I've only got four goalkeepers. Where's my under 18s? Have I not got under 18 goalkeeper? I do. So where's him? Where's him in my plan? We are trying to work it all out. I kind of want to see everyone. I know that you can add players and I'm 21 best suited. I kind of want to see that. I've got contracts. When does their contracts expire? Okay. Expires. Okay. That's why he disappears next year because he's end of season and probably won't renew. So if I go Dev Center, and this is something that should be included on here. I mean, I can't exactly add player under 21 goalkeeper. I mean, I don't see anything. I don't know who they are. I'd have to um, add them all. I shouldn't have to do that. What it should do is default and actually add them all to your planner and then you can remove. I love the idea of this, but there is one well, make our life easier. All right, here we go. Right, this is my goalkeeper, so I'm not going to do them all. I'm just taking this as an example. I will go through it in the background of the game. Right, so we've got eight goalkeepers in my club between senior team, under 21 and under 18. Now I can plan. This season, obviously, it's not going to really change and if I get next season, do I have to add them all? Yes, I do. And it would have been great if you can just click on them like this and have planner and add in current season, add in next season, add in season after maybe. Could be a quite cool thing to have. Maybe another thing for the next football manager. I feel a little bit restricted with my movements. I know that you can create a new focus. I know that you can add players. Just gonna take this example because I swear I saw this in the we say message, just random player top of my head. I'm not gonna get him. How would we add him? There you go, look, add to squad planner. Why can't we have that? Am I missing something again? We go to Death Center. Can we get under 18's squad? Go to him, pre playing time, coach report. Oh, there you go. So it is there. Add to squad planner. So it's under report. So we can do that. So I go, okay. I want this goalkeeper. 
at the squad planner and there you go you add it in it's already in as a goalkeeper like i was doing so again messy report at squad planner i don't know them as a striker squad planner there you go as a striker and there you go and obviously he would be up there as a possibly secondary in that position just an example okay so that is quite easy and it has a drop down can we do it in here as well report we can't do it in for squad planner okay and that's probably why they don't put add in this one it's because you've got add here maybe they should do it here as well right okay so we're still planning a uh, goalkeeper so this is i'm not going to change got a good backup for fraser foster and norris he's a good goalkeeper anyway but we need to plan have we got anyone who could come through no not really so next season we need to plan that we've got backup possibly come through could probably use brandon austin as a backup next season so there you go i reckon his stats are going to go down he's going to become backup i would probably want to i mean 70 000 a year fraser foster i would probably want to yeah okay, yeah so maybe you can just like highlight him and go well he's on john's list but if you don't want him you just get rid of him but you'll have two backup goalkeepers and then we want to find a goalkeeper as an example brand new focus okay, okay. goalkeeper transfer and loan no we want to buy transfer current ability we need them to be three star or more uh we don't want to buy anyone over 30 or where is any so this is standard priority because it's next year uh any scout is fine roles sweeper keeper convert so now that means that we put in a plan a focus for our scouting team to look for a goalkeeper if we need to plan for next season and then you bring through one of these two as a backup so probably be josh keely maybe if we can we will keep brendan austin so that's us just basically quickly planning our goalkeeping position and i will probably do that for all my positions just start setting out a plan start setting out some scouting again it's a team that i don't have to probably do too much with this season good thing is the expectation that we only europa league i think that gives us the team that we have we should be able to get europa league and then obviously then they want us to get champions league and then they want us to win premiership and this this tool allows us to build towards that and prioritize budgets and all that jazz yeah i, th I think it's brilliant and once i get a hang of it be great so i'll do this off cam so we've done tactics we've done squad planner i'm gonna now play pre-season in for background in the next video i will update you on anything that we've come across and we will go into our first game of the season against nottingham forest thank you for watching want to watch more check this one out